The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and James find one Connor of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something Smith. big and get things going in the excitement area. Back at the 16-yard line. quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time that's a throw he wishes he had back he certainly does but as you well know this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances used to fitting it into tight windows these are throws that he's made before didn't happen to get it completed in this case Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Wilson. Always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And and like yard. any of them, the especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. First and ten, Prescott. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the seven-yard line. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. Now an option play on second down. Quick throw complete. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Touchdown. Dalton Schultz there to make the grab. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. And it's good to make it 14-0 makes the score Cowboys 14 Steelers nothing now after the touchdown it's Zerline he'll kick it away fair catch made at the 25 yard line the Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line Fire. 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 
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak. And while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close. But the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Open man, Smith Schuster, it's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get him in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive. Turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate. Or what? 88 and out the gate? Yeah, what's that? That is, I used to hear my old man talk about it. usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's it's not 88 and out the gate. We still have a good game going ahead of us. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Well, right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards.
Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They just get the playoff. Now Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Michael Gallup. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. And the Cowboy first down. throw again. Prescott. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. To Tony Pollard. That one goes for 24 yards. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. He let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Ezekiel Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. That's game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Yeah. 
Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. with a connection to C.D. Lamb. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Zerline good with a PAT. And it's now 21-7. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half. A first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenge in your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Second and six, just inside the 30. Roethlisberger. He'll get this one to McFarland out of the backfield. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. It leads to second and ten. And again from the 41. one or two scores, you feel not where you want to be, but in a pretty good spot. And I think for most teams, when they go into the half in this situation, it's not a lot of adjusting going on. It's much more, all right, guys, let's just play a little bit better than we did in the first half. So just eight kicks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About 
all set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Break their line to kick off for Dallas. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Third quarter starts with a run from Connor. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He was brought down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Roethlisberger will throw. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. Complete two well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. of things. Here's first and ten just outside the 30. Now Roethlisberger escaping the pressure right. To the right side of Eric Ebron. And he's taken down but not before reaching the 10 yard line. 23 yards on the play. They got the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Getting it in, and now they can do whatever they want because.
because they've got confidence on their side. Line up quickly and go, or savor it a little bit, but I run right back at them. Second and goal from the one. They'll look to run with Connor. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Taking it in from a yard line. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line. Because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. They start on the ground with Elliott. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Second and six, just inside the 30. Looking to throw, Prescott completes it right side to Cooper. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. Dallas. He'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Prescott. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. immediately there. Ezekiel, no gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And I would expect pressure here. Prescott from the gun on third. Pressure comes and the Steelers take him down. Bud Dupree in there to get him for a loss of nine yards. And that also leads to fourth down. Well, now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this away, it's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And you can't do it much better than that. This Let's ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. At their own that four -yard is how line. you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb.
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they begin this drive in very precarious field position inside their own five. And remember, this is a defense that's already scored once in this game. So you've got to really take care and make sure that you're blocking these guys to try and wedge the ball out from the shadow of your own end zone. Two brings up second and 12 at the two-yard line. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Switch! Switch! Nicker! Nicker! Again, it's coming. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line. It'll be a five yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. Gain of five brings up third and eight. this up to about the eight yard line the ball only a yard of the pick up there and it's going to leave them with a fourth down we often talk of situational football let's just call it team football the defense did their job got off the field brought the punting situation so they're turning the ball back over to their offense you think those guys will get along very well right now of course they will defense up the offense now it's their turn to take it downfield a uh, very good return that time, 18 yards. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. Six as he gets this down to the 41. The ball carrier. Getting out a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll get this pretty close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers' 35. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. And a Cowboy first down. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Devin Bush, the linebacker, who picks it. And a great return as he takes this up just shy of the 45. You ain't going to turn me. that for a momentum switch. We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. Go! 
The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. They start the drive with Connor. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. The Credit it with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. successful as well. It's Roethlisberger. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Chase Claypool, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Roethlisberger, flushed out right. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Steelers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Again, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to launch it for Washington. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Here we 
go, here we go. Lock 80. Let him know, let him know. Let him know, let him know. You go tight. You got tight. You got tight right there. One day. 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Time to go night, night. Mike, Mike, 55. Check, 55. Mike. I'm going to come back. Hey, alert, 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 alert. Watch, 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 watch. On first and ten is Connor. And he goes backwards here, James losing Connor yardage the back to the 16. Randy Officially, Randy it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 16-yard line. Set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has started yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. It's Big Vince Williams who made the tackle. Brings up second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. God. Here's Prescott. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Complete Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Prescott with a throw caught by Lamb. And now they are knocking on the door inside Prescott Pittsburgh's 10. Complete to a CD big Lamb. play there on the catch and run. 53 yards. Yard line. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Prescott from the gun. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close. And then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you. Looks like their memory was a little too long there. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line.
defense here about ready for their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. They'll roll him out right, and he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Complete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. You got nothing to You got nothing. Mike by five, Now Ben gonna give this one to Connor. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Cheetah Bay. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Steelers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he hits his tight end, Ebron. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Seven yard line. Roethlisberger. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Chase Claypool, the intended target. And now it's second down. He's going to let it go again. This is caught. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Big Ben with his fourth touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Steelers are going to take the lead. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fair catch made at the 25 yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. A 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. The end result, 21 yards. Shotgun, it's Prescott. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28 yard line. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. Now a whistle and a timeout defensively. Trying to stop it, and they do with two seconds to go prior to the two-minute warning. will be the last play before the two-minute warning. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Okay, double up, double up. Alert, alert. Hey, 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 hey. 50. On second and nine, Roethlisberger eluding the pressure right. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. physical. Not 
totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And the knee is taken for the Steelers out of the victory formation. Roethlisberger dropping to a knee, and that ought to do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. But I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. For Charles Davis and all our crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Steelers are winners as we say so long.